teachers, showing educational videos in class is such a great way to get students understanding a topic, but you got to reinforce it, right? You've got to do more with it. So here is how you can use Diffit to take a video and turn it into an entire lesson. This was all created just by putting that YouTube video link into Diffit. And now students have an activity that's going to ask them to summarize what they've learned, create a visual representation, think about questions that they have. They're going to engage with a historical photo. They're going to read and take notes. They're going to answer and explain some multiple choice questions, do some short answer questions, and end class with three discussion questions with their group. All I did was take the video link from here and I went over to Diffit. I clicked on an article or video link. I pasted in the link, picked the grade level, picked the language. There's the link, 10th grade English. It created this for me. It gave me some suggested images. I picked this one from the National World War II Museum. We've got a reading passage here, summary, key vocabulary words from the reading with definitions and example sentences, multiple choice questions, short answer questions, and open-ended prompts. And on the short answer questions and the multiple choice questions, you can actually see example answers for all of them. Now, once I have this just right, I can say get student activities and I've got all these different activities I can choose from to export to. I showed you that three, two, one in the beginning, but maybe you want students to do a vocabulary choice board. Watch the, uh, the YouTube video, have them read and take notes, have them do some vocabulary work, and then have them create a vocabulary choice board based on those vocabulary terms where they can do things like write a poem or make a social media post. So it comes with teacher instructions that notice and wonder activity, read and take notes, vocabulary choice board with the vocabulary words already there for students, uh, vocabulary page so you can also work on that content vocabulary, short answer questions, multiple choice questions, and again, those reflection questions, those open-ended prompts that are perfect for group or partner discussion. Once you get all of this just right, you can also adapt it for a different grade level or translate it into over 70 different languages that we have available. If there's a language you need that you don't see, you just let us know and we'll add it. So let's go ahead and translate it into Spanish. And you'll see it's ready to go, ready to export for student use. Head on over to Diffit and try it yourself. And if you don't have a video, you can tell it literally any topic and it'll create the reading for you. But you can also start with an article or video or a PDF.